Welcome to our tutorial about bend transitions. I've already got my primary plate here. Now let's use a chamfer. Six millimeters is fine and let's click OK. Let's add a flange now. Distance. Let's use five millimeters. Let's expand the dialog window and we'll choose width from the width extents drop down menu with an offset and it'll be from this corner. The offset will be zero and the width of 10 millimeters is fine. Let's go to the bend tab now. The bend transition is currently set to the default, that is no bend transition. This means that the transition is going to be a straight line. Let's click OK and now let's flatten our part. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see it more clearly. Here's our straight line transition. Let's fold up our part and let's go edit the flange. Back to the bend tab, we're going to check out the next transition type, intersection. Let's leave all of our parameters as is and click OK. And let's flatten the part. Here's the intersection of the flange and plate that forms the bend transition line. Let's fold up our part. And now let's look at the straight line bend transition type. OK. Flatten our part and let's check out how it looks. This transition forms a straight line transition between the first and third bend lines. Let's try the next bend transition type, bend tab, arc. For demonstration purposes, let's multiply the bend radius by two. Click OK, and let's flatten our part. Here we've got an arc that's tangent to these lines this line and this line. Let's fold up our part, double click on flange one again, go to the bend tab. Let's take a look at the last bend transition option, trim to bend, and click OK. Let's flatten our part. The bend area is trimmed all the way to the primary plate. And this concludes our tutorial about bend transition types.